Welcome again to the Overtime Podcast. We are live with Juniper or Alex, however you want to remember her name. Um, just real quick. It is overtime, so I'm eating. Okay, I just got off work. Alex just woke up from her, like, 16-hour shift. So, we're a little tired. <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little hungry eating some curly fries. And I'm dealing with two under two, so Oh uh, yeah, well uh, we'll send reinforcements. Again, this is why it's called the overtime podcast. Because we all work our asses off. We're trying to make this shit possible. So if you're listening, if you're listening on Spotify, hit that follow button. Listening on Twitch or YouTube, subscribe, dude. Like, help us out here. Um, let's just jump right into it because I'm I'm tired. Okay, go um, ahead, Alex. Um, What's on the agenda? I, I have esports still on the agenda. I didn't know if there was anything new you wanted to talk about with esports, or I know that their season really hasn't started. So, but I didn't know if something big happened or or whatever. Nothing much right now, just... Okay. All right, well then, uh, speaking of big things that have happened this week, because there always seems to be something big that happens, uh, <laughs> uh, the Jets fired their head coach. Uh, and uh, before Chris gets into, into his little spiel, which I don't know if he's even got a spiel, but uh, I was watching a lot of ESPN today, and they, I mean, uh, it was like six hours of them talking nonstop about this poor guy getting fired and they were all under the agreement that it was the right decision but it was the timing was absolutely horrid they said that it, i don't know they just said it was bad timing and now the big argument is that um they 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 all think that Aaron Rodgers had a hand in it they, they you know they don't know if maybe Aaron Rodgers said we need to fire him or if or if he was just in on it um Ambassador Woody Johnson, as he likes to be called, the owner of the Jets, he, uh, I guess he released a statement, a little sound clip saying that it was his decision only, and after it was, no. after it was done, he got on the phone with Aaron Rodgers, and they talked about fucking, like, cake and cupcakes and rainbows, like, yeah, I don't believe that, and then that's what they were all saying, they don't believe for one second that Aaron Rodgers didn't have anything to do with this firing, so I don't know if Chris has anything he wants to say about that? He damn right had something uh, to do with it. Okay, good. Everyone's under the agreement then. <laughs> he damn right had something to do with it. How do you go from Nathaniel Hackett? Okay, that's yep. who he wanted. That's who he wanted on his coaching squad. How, I mean, it, Robert Sala was going to fire Hackett. Okay, why was he going to fire Hackett? Because <clears throat> Hackett wasn't there any good. Go. Because Hackett's Here dad. we go. This is why. Denver. Denver. You went. You, you lost to Denver. I don't give a fuck if it's raining. Aaron Rodgers, you were like, you're supposed to be this all elite quarterback. I don't give a fuck if fucking whatever hurricane is coming through Florida right now is coming in the fucking stadium. You should be able to score more than nine fucking points on, on a fucking team that is not even built right right now. Denver yeah. is... is, is they're they're all right. I'm not saying they fucking suck, but Jesus Christ, nine points. You're an elite quarterback. That's all you can put up. And then Minnesota, you're only putting up seventeen, dude. You're you're supposed to be. Yeah, I I how, would. How many years? This is not my problem. Hold on. This is my problem with Aaron Rodgers. Okay, for people that don't know and people who doesn't want to talk about this very often. Okay, I understand Minnesota's a good team this year. But Aaron Rodgers was in that division for how fucking long? Yeah. Okay, Kirk, Kirk Cousins came off of an injury. He just threw for 509 fucking yards. Where the fuck are you at, Aaron Rodgers? Your fucking... I, they had the same injury last year. And one person just threw for 500 yards. Against a good team. Kirk Cousins threw 509 yards. That's a lot of fucking yardage against the Buccaneers. And you come in, I know Minnesota was in London, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Dude, you put up 17 points. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong? I mean, 
I, would, you, I mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I would almost expect that out of, like, a rookie quarterback or someone's, like, first year out of a rookie contract, not, a, like, a legacy quarterback. Like, Well, then, like, like, if you look at their schedule, let's just go through who they faced. San Francisco. They lost 32-19. to 19. Okay. Yeah, San Francisco is a Sala, good... I mean, that's a good team, though. Robert Sala is a sole defensive guy. That's what he is. Yes. That's why he... That's why I think they shouldn't have fired him. Because, okay, you let the Super Bowl contenders put up 32 points. That's going to happen, dude. They got all-stars all around. Literally all around them. Then, you only let... Tennessee score 17. That's fine. Then you only, you held fucking New England to three. You won that game. And then Denver, you held him to 10 points. Robert Sala did his fucking job. You held, Robert Sala held Denver to 10 points. Aaron couldn't score. That's not on Robert. That's on your offensive coordinator. Well, the the, the joke is that Aaron Rodgers throws three interceptions and they fire the head coach? Like, the head coach yeah, told Aaron Rodgers to throw the interceptions. <laughs> um, someone, I, I can't remember which one it was, who, who the ESPN guy was that said it, and I thought it was a really good analogy. Aaron Rodgers' career right now is like a movie, you go, you go see a movie and, like, the, the plot's good, the characters are really good. It's a great movie, and then the ending sucks. What are you going to focus on the rest of your life? The ending, because it sucked. <laughs> all I'm saying is if you're going to fire Robert Saul over this last loss, it has nothing to do with Robert. Okay, Sam Darnold has thrown two touchdown passes every game he's yeah. played. He's thrown none. He's thrown zero this game. He had 179 yards. He was 14 of 31. That means the defense is doing something. But you know why they lost? The field goal, probably the interception return for a touchdown, and probably the other two interceptions. Yeah. That's why Minnesota won that game. That's yeah. the sole reason. Because Aaron Rodgers did throw for two touchdowns. Now, if he would have threw for a couple touchdowns, all he had to do was throw for one fucking more. If you would have matched his fucking if you would have matched his fucking interceptions with how many touchdowns he could have thrown, they're winning that game. Yeah. Because the defense did their job. Robert Sala, again, is a defensive guy. So, holding Sam Darnold to no touchdown passes, you did your job, dude. Yeah, that. Yeah, so. I agree. <laughs> so, you kind of look, when I said earlier there that these ESPN guys were saying that it was a good decision but the wrong timing... There, I do have a little bit more. You kind of look not confused, but you look kind of like what? Their reason it's not, it's not a good thing. Well, they're saying that he, he hasn't really been a great coach, not a, not an all around great head coach. That's just what they said. They had an issue with the fact that I guess Ambassador uh, Woody was saying, "I've been wanting to fire him for two years." And it's like, well, then why didn't you fire him two years ago? Like that's I think that's their problem with it. If he was such a bad head coach that you were contemplating it two years ago. Why did you wait for Aaron Rodgers to get here before you did it? Nobody knew nobody who knew who the fuck the Jets were two years ago. And that's fair. Robert <laughs> Robert Sala has made that team. The only fucking reason that team is good is because their defense went from like almost dead last to top ten. Yeah, that's they they were looking at the stats. They were saying when in 2020, when they hired Sala, they were they were last, and he's gotten them up a little further. So they they were saying that they were like, you know, he's not a great coach. A little further, a little further. They think his talents would be better used elsewhere. I think is what they're trying to. Yeah, because if the Jets is going to treat you like that, then yeah. fuck you. Yeah, they they almost made the fucking playoffs last year from a team. They had no quarterback. Yeah. Zach yes. Wilson fucking sucks. So how the fuck are you going to fire the head coach yeah. if a fucking... They had no quarterback all fucking year long, dude. They, they were going from Zach Wilson to whoever the fuck else they even had because nobody fucking knows his name. You got a fucking Zach Wilson to fucking... I call him Snack Wilson because all he does is fucking get sacked. 
That's funny. But that that's my point. Like, you can't tell me that Robert Saul was not a good fit. No, you're just your scheme sucks. Why do you think he was gonna fucking fire literally the offensive coordinator? Why are we running? Why are we running the ball on 32 when you got the Mr. MVP of the fucking year yeah. on your fucking team? You got the all great fucking almighty motherfucking Aaron Rodgers put the ball in his hand. It's third and two. I don't, I like Brees Hall. If you're running games good that day, maybe give it to him, motherfucker. But you got literally, literally a Hall of Fame quarterback in your disposal, and we're gonna run the ball on third and two. Yeah. And and my 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 problem with that is if you watch Aaron Rodgers' reactions the first couple weeks when it was like third and one, third and two, he just looks over there like, why are we calling a run play? Yeah, that's that's not what he's used to. He's used to having the ball on key downs. So you know what? Fuck the Jets. I hope the fuck you lose every fucking match that comes to you. Fuck you guys. I will say, Robert Sala, I'm on his side. Take that fucking vacation. Come back over to fucking San Francisco that's where you what, belong. That's what everybody's saying. Yeah. He needs to do is to go back to San Fran. They said he needs to go yep. to San Francisco right now. <laughs> Come, come be the fucking defensive coordinator. Yep, that's Fuck what you, that's Wilson. what that's what they were saying. They were like, he needs to go back to San Fran, be an offensive coordinator. They said I think defensive. Or defensive, sorry, yeah. Um Oh no, what was I? I was gonna say something about Oh, he did release today a really classy statement though. Thanking the Jets, thanking the fans, thanking all his his fellow. Yeah, coaches. we all do that. I know, but it was real classy, I ain't thinking, so Fuck the Jets. I used to like you motherfuckers. <laughs> um, so, before we get into any hockey, there is another thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, speaking of the Jets, uh, Devontae Adams wants to go over to the Jets because his good pal Aaron Rodgers is on the Jets. What do you think about that, considering that they don't think Aaron Rodgers is doing another year? I think it's dumb. I think he needs to go to a team that's actually going to give him to the Super Bowl. Well, that that was the argument because he wa- he wants to go to either the Saints or the Jets because all of his friends are there and they were fighting. They were like, no, they were like, he needs to quit doing this buddy buddy thing. He needs to go to a good team. Like they were like, you go to the Ravens, go to I don't even remember what other teams they said. They're like, he would be stupid. The Saints would be all right, I think, but they were like, he'd be dumb well, to yeah, go to the Super Jets. Bowl contender team. Yeah, but they were like, he'd be dumb to go to the Jets. Absolutely, ridiculously dumb. So, I don't know. Do you? What team do you think he should go to? Fucking bring him over to fucking 49ers, motherfucker. Get rid of Put IU. Brown. Browns. Oh, <laughs> no. Don't need him. Don't need him on the Browns. Yeah, so, I don't know. They were just <sighs> like, he needs to quit doing this. Oh, my friends, my friends. No. Bitch, go to a team that's good. <laughs> Who cares yeah, about- that's not how that works. F- fuck your friends. <laughs> Who cares about your friends? <laughs> and that's what they were saying. That's not how that works. So, and they were saying at this point, there's not going to be a trade this week because it, they said usually it happens on Mondays and Tuesdays. Well, so, I mean, if he if he should go to a team that's like maybe contending for a Super Bowl, well, and it's gonna. I I'm going to puke in my mouth a little bit, but the Rams would be a good fit because well, they kind of need a wide receiver. Well, I would be all you right. You want to go to a place that has a decent quarterback if you're a, a, a well, elite wide receiver. Yeah, that, that's what they were saying. They were like, they need to go to, like, the he needs to go to, like, the Ravens or, let's say, the, the Chiefs even. Uh, the Bengals. The Bengals, yeah. They were like, there are tons of good teams this guy could go to, and he's choosing to go to the fucking Jets. Like He should go to fucking Texans. Fuck it. Well, that <laughs> would be, to- hey. Yeah, um, I think the problem is that I don't think the Raiders want to trade him within the conference, so he's probably going to have to go to an NFC team. So the Jets might okay. be ruled out. Um, and again, Raiders kind of hold the standard of where he well, can go. Well, I-, I will say this. I there's I don't know if it's a rumor. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it today, but I, I did. I was listening to them. I guess they said the Raiders are willing to um, kind of – pay him a little more to go to another team. Like, they're going to give some incentive for him to go to another team. Now, I don't know if that means they get to pick the team, but but they're willing yes, to kind of cash know. out a little bit to get him traded. They're willing to, what, what was their words? Uh, bite the bullet, I guess. 
to get him traded out. So I, I don't know. Because they said right at this point, no, no, none of these teams are gonna are gonna trade him for a good a good price. They're not gonna offer him what he wants. So the Raiders are kind of like, well, if it gets him off of our roster, yeah, because that'll free up some space for him. That's and I think that's the Raiders. You know, they're they're willing to cash out a little bit, get him off the team, get him off the roster, get him out of their hair. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um. I don't know why I thought we were doing hockey next. <laughs> so, injuries. Oh, no. I guess we'll do last Ooh. week's games. So, huh, I sucked last week at picking these damn teams. Did teams. Uh, I don't know if I did. I think I did all right, did, actually. Did some of these teams have bye weeks last week? Yeah. Okay, because my total didn't come up like it normally does, and I was like. Someone had to have had a bye week. Four teams did, yeah. Okay. So, I actually came out five and eight. I sucked this this week. You came out eight and five. You just did the Bitches. opposite. You just did the opposite of Bitches. me. Bitches. So. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Were there any, were there any games you wanted to talk about? No, we usually just go over them. The Falcons beat the Buccaneers in overtime. Like I said, Kirk Cousins, prime time, yeah. bitches. Fuck you. Fuck all you who want to doubt the Kirky. Um, 509 yards? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, The Jets at the Vikings. <laughs> we already kind of talked about that. Fuck you, Aaron Rodgers. Throw another interception, you fucking old fuck. Might as well put Snack Wilson in there. Snack Wilson, that's funny. The Vikings are hot this year. Holy shit. Can we just pause and say that for a minute? They're on fire this year. <laughs> I'm curious to see what team knocks them down a peg. That's what I want to know. It'll be somebody. It'll be like the Chiefs or something. <laughs> I don't even know if they play the Chiefs. <laughs> I didn't look that far ahead. <laughs> yeah, because... It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, they play Detroit next, so we'll see. Oh, that's right, because they were saying that... Wait, they do? Oh, yeah. that's, their... that's their next team that they play. Yeah, because aren't they on a bye week this week? Yes. Yes, because I would have picked them on my picks if they weren't. All right, let's continue. Um, Colts at or sorry, Panthers at Bears. What the hell? Oh yeah, the Bears won that. Yes, they did win that. They uh, Caleb Williams actually showed out a little bit there. Yeah. But, uh, it's against the fucking. Well. <laughs> we're not going to talk about the Panthers. <laughs> Um, Colts at Jaguars. I hate how you say that. Uh, sorry, I, that, that's that's, Jaguars, that's one word I can't Jaguars, say. Jaguars. Sorry, it's like fucking. Can my... you say wire? Can you say wire? Jag Jaguars. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I, I, I called that shit though. I said they're getting their first win. I called yeah, it. I was I was kind of surprised. Well, they're not a bad no, he team, wasn't. but no, he wasn't. You picked the Colts, idiot. I did pick the Colts, but I'm trying to say that that they're not a bad team. They're not like a they're not the Panthers. For they need God's to put sake. together. They need to put together. That's what they need. That's fair. All right. Uh, <laughs> Next, Dolphins at Patriots. Huh. <laughs> Which, you know what's sad about that? As I actually had the Dolphins down, and I changed it. Because I thought, no. I don't, who did I even pick? You, I can't remember. You picked that the was, Patriots, too. So I thought, that's just because, I just don't like how Mike McDaniel's running the offense. It's well, not Mike McDaniel's offense, than what it feels see, like. I picked the, I changed my answer to the Patriots because of Tua. Like, they just haven't been, ever since Tua's little concussion, the Dolphins haven't won anything, so I figured maybe he was the glue holding them together. I don't know. And then, then they show me up like this, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like Mike McDaniel's just not, again, not running his 
You got That's the fastest fair. team in, in offense in the league. Um, the Ravens at the Bengals. That was that a, was a hell of a game. I was gonna say that Bengals was a good game. That, that was a really good game. I agree. It did not look good at the end for the Ravens, and then. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't fumble in a key moment like that, but. I know shit happens. Um, Might have been in just in miscommunication, whatever. But the fact that McPherson actually kicked that ball that far without it even being on the ground, dude, <laughs> that guy is fucking baller. Um, next game, and before you murder me, I want to say something about the next game, and I, I hope without looking it up, I get it right. The Browns at the Commanders. Is it Jaden Davis? Is that his name? Jaden Davis. Davis. What's his name? What's his name? What's the commander? Jaden Daniels. Da- hey, I was I was close. Considering Yo, I don't. I thought, was, I thought it was going to be Jaden Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm going to call him. He's he's on fire. He's a he seems like he's a damn good little rookie. <laughs> he's a damn good little guy. I thought he is. You were gonna he say. is. <laughs> like a damn good little guy. <laughs> I mean, he's, I told you last week he's on fire. He I kinda, is on I fire. Said it, I don't know if I said it before that or not, but I was like, man, you better watch out. So who, They're fucking 4-1 right now. They're in top of the division, it should be. Who, who do they play? This, the Ravens. So, they did this little segment on ESPN that I thought was kind of cool. And I, I'm not saying we should input it, but but they did this but, segment. But, shut up. They, <laughs> they did this segment called What If? And they kind of just went through three games, the upcoming games, and they're like, what if, like, blah, 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 blah. And one of their things was, what if the Commanders beat the Ravens? What does that say about uh, Jaden Daniels? I don't know if you have an opinion on that. Like, I thought it was kind of a good question. If he comes in and, and they beat the Ravens with a rookie quarterback, what do you, what, what's your opinion on that, I guess? I don't really have one because the Ravens lost to the Raiders. Well, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, right now, if we're looking at the, all 32 teams, there is the only consistency that we have right now is the Kansas City Chiefs winning because they're getting calls and Panthers being consistently bad. There's no consistency. There's 17 <laughs> teams right now. There's That's 17 funny. teams right now, two and three, three and two. There's no, everybody's in playoff contention right now. Yeah. Like, there's nobody not yeah, out of right. playoffs right now. You're right. So, there is no consistency right now. So, there wouldn't, I mean, to me, that wouldn't say a lot about Jaden Daniels beating the Ravens. It's, 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 what's the Raven? Why is the Ravens losing? Right. They had the number one defense last year. The number one defense. Yeah. Where I mean, where are they this and then year? You lose, where you lose to the Raiders? You shouldn't have lost to the Raiders. They don't have an offense. I agree. <laughs> that's, that's. But I mean, that's. I mean, it. I don't know. I'm not saying they don't have a great defense. I'm just saying you had the number one defense last year. So, I I don't know. I just feel like. If Jaden Daniels beats the Ravens, there's no, there's nothing. It's, it's what's the Ravens doing wrong? Yeah, I, I, I felt that. Um, no, I'm not taking credit. I'm not taking credit off of Jaden Daniels. Right? I mean, no, I know. Player. I'm just saying that they shouldn't lose because it's the Ravens. What are you doing? I don't even have that game on my, my week five. For who? The Commanders? I don't have either team listed. How did I skip over a whole game? I don't know, Alex. Your system's <laughs> fucked. I don't know why you just don't go to ESPN. I do, and I, then I write them down. Um, The Bills at Texans. I'm, a, I'm upset that the Bills lost, but I'm glad the Texans won, I guess, because... Listen, <laughs> I'm upset the Bills lost too because I like Josh Allen. But you know what? This is going to be the only week you're going to hear me say, 
Fuck you, motherfuckers. I'm telling you, Houston, somebody, dude. I said it last That's year. Fair. I'm saying it this year. And the fact that Nico Collins is out, I think oh, it's Nico yeah, Collins. For, yeah, you're, yeah, it is that Nico. Might, that might hurt him a little bit, but you know what? 23 to 20, bitches. You know what I think? I think the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. Oh, hey, my now. God. Oh. Um... Raider. This is the year. Yeah, we done boys. <laughs> uh, Raiders at Broncos. Psh, the Broncos won that shit, so. Yeah, who would have thought that? Yeah, right. Ah, uh, that was a cool fucking shit, though. He had a fucking, uh... Was that the game they had that 100-yard interception return? Uh, I don't know. That's a good... That's a good question. I'll look it up real quick. Pretty sure it was. Uh, 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 yeah, hundred and hundred yard interception return. That's what I thought. Pat certain. About the only good player on the Broncos defense. Um. All right. Giants at Seahawks. I was kind of shocked the Giants won. A little I bit. Was, <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't, actually. I don't uh, know, the Seahawks seemed like they were on fire, and I guess I expected a different team to to beat them? I don't know. We had a crazy week of football, by the way. It was the craziest week of football. So, I'm glad we did this game next, because Broncos game, we had a 100-yard interception return. The fucking Seahawks and Giants game, we had a 102-yard fumble return. Block field goal return for a touchdown in the same game. Plus, the 49ers had a block field goal for a touchdown. That never happens what in a week of football. Was was this week the week that I said the commanders the Yeah, it was. The Browns were almost at their end zone. Like they were like four yards to a touchdown, and the commanders intercepted and ran. And I was like, that's embarrassing on the Browns. To get an interception. Oh, so it is. I'd be embarrassed. I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> of course it's embarrassing, but it's not embarrassing to the Browns. I mean, no. it's, it's what happens when you're on the Browns. <laughs> you just expect it, you know? But no, the fact that we had a 102-yard fumble recovery in this game, the Giants and the Seahawks game, Daniel Jones, I think it was Daniel Jones, fumbled the ball at the one-yard line. It bounces into the two-yard line on the, I, technically, the 102-yard line. It bounces in the end zone. I can't remember who picked it up, but he picked it up and ran it all, all the way for a fucking touchdown. That's... Two yards. The fucking... Then they had a block field goal for a touchdown. Well, then you had the Broncos 100-yard interception return. And then you had 49ers with a block field goal for a touchdown. Dude, that, like I said, that never happens in one week of football. Yeah. You, have, you might see that one once a week. You might see a block field goal, touchdown... Pump return, touchdown. But not that many. In fact, we had two defensive plays that went over 100 yards and then two block field goals for a touchdown. What the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah. Football is wild this year. And on top of that, I just said it earlier, 17 teams are 2-3, 3-2. and, three, three and two. What the fuck's going on, man? Oh, I love this year and I hate it at the same time. Uh, next game was Packers at Rams. Yeah, I kind of figured the Packers were going to win that. That yeah. tight end? Who's their tight end, dude? That guy is... He's something else, man. He's doing good. Uh, I think it's... Jordan Winnington? No, that's the wide receiver. What the hell is his name? That dude... Tucker Craft? Is that his name? I think his name's Tucker Craft. Oh, I was looking at the fucking wrong team. Yeah, Tucker Craft. I was looking on the wrong team. I was like, that doesn't... None of these guys look familiar. Yeah, Tucker Craft, dude. He's... I don't know. He got... He had four receptions. He's a tight end. Four receptions for 88 yards. Two touchdowns. 66 longest catch. 66 yards. Five targets. 
He's targeted five times, caught four of them. That, I don't know. I just feel like they keep him healthy, keep, and maybe that'd be all right, picking up Devontae Adams. Going back to Green oh. Bay, because that's where he came from. That wouldn't be a bad a bad decision. Saying that the Green Bay's looking pretty good with yeah. how their year started. <laughs> um, next game was Cowboys at Steelers with the Cowboys winning at Fuck at one o'clock in the morning. Hey, uh, embarrassing, Marcus. I know you're listening, Marcus. Fuck them boys. So, uh, one of our listeners came up to me the other day. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, actually, I do want to shout him out real quick. Marcus, I know you're probably going to be listening to this, so congratulations on your new baby girl. I did not know your lady was pregnant, so congrats. Um, you might have told me, but, you know, shit's crazy this year. Um, but Marcus, fuck them boys! <laughs> You know, it's funny that, you know, you listen to that and you're like, I don't like how you talk about my boys. You know what? That's why you had two girls. <laughs> all right? Because fuck them boys. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, I think last time he actually was listening live and he wasn't logged into his Twitch. So he wasn't able to comment. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm not really surprised that that game went that way. I picked the Steelers winning. Just because I thought their defense was actually going to show up, but for some reason, yeah, I know. I was, I was a little, kind of flat. a little surprised by the Cowboys winning. A um, bit. all I gotta say is this: that you, you guys paid Dak to play the game, and you know he's there for one quarter out of the game, and that's the last quarter. Yeah, it seems like he's not there in the first quarter, second quarter, but in the fourth quarter, Dak's so, actually suddenly like, he shows up. I just maybe got to put some pressure on him or something. Like, I I don't know what it is. And I've never said that Dak wasn't a great quarterback or a good quarterback. I just can't. I don't know. It's Cowboys thing. You know, I just, I don't like Cowboys. Even if Dak went to another team, I still probably won't like Dak. Not because he came from the Cowboys, but just, I don't, I don't trust him. You know, I don't trust him. One minute he could throw for five touchdowns, the next minute he's throwing five interceptions. Right. Again, it's about consistency. Now, if you're going to keep throwing five interceptions, at least you're showing me consistency that you're fucking bad. Okay? Right, right. But my the problem with the Cowboys is, again, their defense is inconsistent, so I, I picked the Steelers to win it, and... I mean, maybe if it wasn't for that delay, the Steelers would have won it. I, it's possible. It's highly possible. Because I know when I played, if there was ever a delay, dude, I was like, I was kind of bummed. Yeah, yeah, especially, exactly. Especially if it's a home game. Yeah. Like, you're so close to home, you're ready to just go home. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It is kind of a a buzzkill. And I don't even want to talk about the Chiefs game. Everyone That's fine. Knows the Chiefs we, we don't, we it's don't. Prime, it's prime time. And I did, I did talk about it last week that, you know, there's going to be a call somewhere. There's blatant. You know what? They did good this year, the, 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 or the this game. The refs did good. They were like, you know what? We're on prime time. They're bitching at us not giving holding calls. So they gave a couple holding calls to the Chiefs this time. It just so happens the Saints blew it. They couldn't capitalize on it. Right. Because they kept... Listen, and they keep showing Taylor Swift. Listen. Listen, listen, please. Stop showing her. Oh my god, it's the first time she came back. She missed two games. I don't give a fuck, dude. There's 18 games. People are bound to miss a game, man. Chill. Fuck, dude. I know. God damn it. Look, I'm in I'm in yep. I'm in Swifty groups on Facebook because I, I like Taylor Swift. I do. I I lo I like her. Fuck Taylor Swift. All these people it just it boggles me how these people in these group think they're entitled to know what she is doing at on every second why why do you think she's not at his games probably because you don't have to show up to your every single one of your boyfriend's games do i show up to go to work with you every day chris and we're fucking married 
Jesus, it just boggles me and it drives me crazy. I don't care that they show her. I don't. I don't. It's the fans that kill it's me. It's annoying. <laughs> it does get annoying after a while, and I have to think that Taylor Swift's probably sick of it. She is. She says she hates that they show her that much, but she wants to be there. She, you know, and I don't blame her. She wants to be there to support her man. You know, I, I don't blame her. I would show up to your football games. You know, <laughs> I'm not Taylor. Whatever. I'm. I'm, she I'm not Taylor Swift, but. <laughs> You already know my opinion. Fuck Trailer Swift. <laughs> trailer Drift. Trailer <laughs> Drift. That's out of Florida right now. <laughs> trailer. Oh my god. Listen, I'm not. I don't want to make fun of Florida. I never liked Florida. Okay. I never go. I would never live down there just because of the hurricanes. So I hope everyone takes as good comedic fun. I'm dark humor guy. So I love you guys. I hope everyone's safe down there. Um. I <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so I hope everyone's you know safe and not doing nothing stupid down there, like staying on a boat, <clears throat> Lieutenant Dan. Oh my God! I saw something about that today, and I about died. Hey, listen, may God be with you, brother. That is something I would never do. Listen, I got balls, man. I'm fucking crazier than fucking who knows what. But there's no way I'm staying on a boat. First off, there's no reason I'm getting on a boat, but. Uh, There's no reason I'm getting on a boat in the middle of a hurricane, bro. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. That dude's got some fucking major cojones. Yeah, you're right. Like, again, I pray for all the families that I do. I do. I'm just picking fun. Um. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the subject of matter. All right. Uh, that was it for last week's games. Um. Oh, well, and the I, fact that the fact that Patrick Mahomes threw for three hundred yards, though, he did kind of get my bet. Yeah, I needed yeah. him to throw two hundred fifty. Where the fuck was you at, Derek Carr? Where the fuck was you at, bro? Like, come on, dog. I think for once, I think I actually watched more football this last week than Chris did. Because he yes, kept. Well, I, I had a pretty rough weekend. He did have a rough weekend. And, like, I was trying, like, on Sunday, you like, I made sure the games were on, so when Chris woke up, he could watch, and he would wake up periodically and watch a little bit. I would literally lay down to try to sleep, and I don't know, I was just so hyped watching football. Like, I never thought I'd say that, but I was actually hyped watching it that I couldn't go to sleep, so. And then Chris would kind of wake up, and I'd say, guess what happened? So, this is going to be the first week and only week that we don't talk about the Thursday primetime game because it's 49ers week. before we get into that, before we get into it, um, injury list, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, The Saints, was it their quarterback that has an oblique injury? I can't think of his damn name. Derek Carr? Derek Carr, yeah. Well, I mean, that's a big one. Tyson Hill's out, though, too. So that's like yeah. a double whammy. Um, I did see today, though, that if McCaffrey keeps doing what he's doing, next week he should be back. Yeah, there was no flare-up last week. Like, not this week, but there was no flare-up last week yeah. during practice. Yeah, so. so that's looking real good. I'm I'm, I'm holding out for that. I, I mean, I'm happy for Jordan Mason, though. I so mean, he did I. awesome. I think one of the only reasons we lost just this last week against the Cardinals is he fumbled down on the goal line, man. You can't do I that. Know, I know, but you know you what? You can't do that. Fumble anywhere else, just not the fucking goal line, has, bro. Has he fucked up anywhere else, really? No, but we needed that I game. I know, I like, know, no, I, I know. If that's going to be the only thing that he did wrong, I mean, that's a big fuck up, don't get me wrong. You're right, that is a huge fuck up. But otherwise... He's done really well. So. He's done really well. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> do that against a team that's in the other conference, though. Don't yeah. do it against an NFC team. And especially don't do it to a team that's in your division. Yeah. Like, fuck, man. Like, that sucks. But, I, you know, shit happens. I get yeah, it. Yeah. It really I, wasn't... I'm not, I'm not holding him to a, oh, Moody's hurt. I mean, that we have oh, to talk about yeah, that. Oh, yeah, shit. I don't know why I don't have that written down. Like, we're going to try to bring him back, dude. 
Dude, his ankle is fucked. I yeah. don't know what he did to it. I don't care if he yeah, just I, sprained it. He's a kicker, Root. I to saw, retire. Just go retire. I who did who did I see that they they hired? Oh, I don't know, but he ain't that much better. Oh God. I mean, he's like forty for forty-five in the the extra points. He's like thirty for thirty-seven in field goals. So I don't know. I'll I go, didn't even look I'll at his go name. out there and I'll kick. I don't know. I just get someone from soccer, dude. Brandon Aubrey's a soccer player. Look at him go, dude. Just go get somebody that knows how to kick the fucking ball. That's fair. All right, now we'll talk about this week's games. And like you said, we won't talk about primetime Thursday. Let's go, Niners. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Um, all right, first team that, or the first game I have is Jagu Jaguars versus the Bears. Yep, because it's a 9 o'clock game. It's in London. I was just I'm this going. You know what? Oh. I'm going to go with the Jags. You're going to go with the Jags? Okay. Uh, well, on. okay, now hold on. I just now thought of this. I'm pretty sure Jaguars has never lost in London yet. So I'm definitely going with they, the Jaguars. They are, they are the London team, aren't they? I forgot, yeah. All I'm right, pretty well. sure they've never lost in London, so. Um, Cardinals at Packers. Dude, that's... That's a tough one, isn't it? Because I don't think the Cardinals are necessarily doing bad. They're not a bad team. No, no. Uh, I'm going Packers. Packers? Okay. Uh, Colts at Titans. Colts. Colts, okay. Texans at Patriots. Texans. Okay. Uh... Bucks at Saints. Ooh, that's a divisional game, just like the Colts was. The Colts and Titans is still iffy for me because that's a divisional game. Uh, I'm, I want to know what you're going to say to this one. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to go Bucks. <gasps> that's who I want. I almost picked the Saints, and then I remembered the Derek Carr, and I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, Baker Mayfield might show up. So. <laughs> Well, with all the injuries, I'm going to have to go with the Bucks. Yeah, see, that's kind of... I did start riding the Saints, though, and I was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> um, Browns at Eagles. <laughs> I don't like the Eagles. Hey, Marcus, I know if you're listening to this one still, but fuck the Eagles, too, okay? I don't talk about just them boys. Fuck them boys. Fuck the Eagles, too. But I'm going to have to go with the Eagles on this one because the, Eagles? the Browns... Okay. The Browns are the Browns. I oh, mean, that's fair. Just fuck the Sean Watson more than anybody. Um, Commanders at Ravens. I can't wait to see what you say to this one. You know what I hate about this game? What? It's one of the ones I gotta bet on. Oh, yeah, it is. Ooh, good luck. I'm gonna go to Ravens because it's home field. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, Chargers at Broncos. Two hundred sixty-seven dollars for a ticket, dude. That's how low they oh. are. That's the lowest. That's a ticket as low as. Oh Jesus! All right, sorry. What was the next game? Sorry. Uh, Chargers at Broncos. So I know Herbert's questionable now. They just marked him down as questionable. So I'm gonna have to go still with the Chargers. Okay. But uh, it's kind of scary. Okay, you, yep. you're iffy on that one a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because that's uh, could go either way. Well, yeah, because that's, I mean, that's their division. So, um, Steelers at Raiders. Steelers. Okay. Too much drama right now going on with the Raiders. That's fair. That's hey, so, fair. Uh, real quick, fun fact: uh, Jackie Redmond's on uh, NHL right now. Oh, yeah, she's at the Pens game. Oh, <laughs> this is like oh yeah, yeah. she loves. And I was like, oh hello. She <laughs> loves. I've seen her tweet that out before. She loves hockey. Hmm. Um, next game is Lions at Cowboys. 
Lions, cause Marcus fucked them boys. Every time I say it now, I'm saying Marcus. Uh, Falcons at Panthers. Falcons. See, a lot of these are divisional games this year, like, or this week. So, like, that one, there's another divisional game. The chart, or... The Falcons, Falcons at... Game. Uh, Bengals at Giants. Joe Burry's pissed off. He's throwing seven touchdowns. He's going to break the record. All right. And then the, the Bills at Jets. The Bills. So... I completely forgot. See, and that's a, that's another divisional game. That's I was it's, there's gonna be a, either or. I'm I don't know. I can't, okay, guys, just hear me out. Stream everybody, Spotify everybody. I have the Jets winning the division. So me saying fuck the Jets. Yeah. And I hope you lose every. That's how much I could win twenty five hundred dollars at the end of the year if I get everybody right. And so far, everyone's kind of on track. Except for that division. Yeah. I have two bets on that. I have the Jets winning. Oh, no. And I have Miami winning. <laughs> I don't have the Bills winning <laughs> the division this year. Uh, so, that's funny. And I feel bad because everyone is kind of on track, but like even the 49ers is not on track. Right. Now, if they win this week, if, if 49ers win this week... You might change change tune a little bit. No, I mean, they're just, oh. they're just ahead of their division. Oh, That's okay. how bad our division's doing right now. I mean, if they beat Seattle, then we're ahead in our division. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, I only picked three of them different than you, so I'm just going to run through them real quick. I completely forgot that the Jags were playing in London. But I'm going to stick with the Bears. I picked the Bears. I'm going to stick with it. I could have changed it when you mentioned that. But I said, no, I already wrote it down. I'm going to stick with it. So I mean, I'm sure the Bears are going to fucking smoke them. But I completely I, forgot I, I about... Jaguars signed that, that thing where they have like two games over there a year or something for a while. So, yeah. I mean... They seem like they really like playing over there, too. So, I mean, I'm sure it's fun for them. So, I had I had the Browns winning against the Eagles. I don't know why. I, I don't know. You have to explain why. Spotify can't see my reaction right now. I don't know. Explain why you think... Deshaun Watson's going to beat the Eagles. I mean, I it's, it's possible. Anything's possible. Any given Sunday, it is possible. Because, hold on. Hold on, let me get my notes. <laughs> oh, because every week, I pick the Browns because for some damn reason, I have faith in them. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's because of Sean Watson, right? The woman, the woman rapist lover dude. What? That's why. What? That's, you don't understand. That's why he was like. That's why the Houston actually kind of got rid of him because he was. I don't know. There was like twenty accusations maybe, on him about. Maybe I still think Joe Flacco's playing for him. I don't know. Listen, I'm just saying, like, Watson had, like, a whole bunch of no, charges and shit on him. No, no I, I think I do remember that. No, I think I picked the Browns just because it was against the Eagles. I don't think there was any other reason. <laughs> um, And I had the Commanders winning. And I think I had the Commanders winning because... Daniels is on fire, so I just I feel like it'll be a big fuck you to the Ravens, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not saying they're not gonna win, but the only reason I picked the Ravens. They're at home. Yeah, and that's what you said. You said only because it's at home I'm picking the Ravens. So but the commanders it's aren't like, far from home. <laughs> no, but I know it's not the same as being on your home field, I know. It's not Baltimore. Landover's not Baltimore. That's probably a good thing. That's my point. <laughs> when Baltimore plays at home, there's some kind of like... 
<laughs> aura. There's like an aura in that stadium, and they're like they're a whole new. T- if if now hear me out. This is a very bold prediction. You might want to write this down. You might want to highlight this bitch. Oh, you might want to mark this motherfucker because I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna be proud when I'm right. If for some fucked up reason that the Raven somehow gets first and gets a first round bye and everybody has to play at Baltimore, Baltimore's going to the Super Bowl. If the Ravens play at home in the playoffs, they're going to the Super Bowl this year. There, I wrote it down. I said Ravens Saint- get first, go to Super Bowl. <laughs> and I'll say I'm going to make another bold prediction. Same with Houston. Okay. Because that contradicts a little bit with the Ravens, but... but uh, I know it. Okay. Because um, they're in the same conference, but... So, okay, so are we all done talking about football? Football, that's the video you should have showed everybody. I should have. Maybe next week I'll, I'll get it up and I'll show it. Oh my god, take that audio. We could use it for our <gasps> football saying Football! Football! <laughs> Actually, I might be able to play it through the mic here so they all can hear that shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. For any of our Spotify listeners. Oh. Did they hear it? No, you can only hear my big mouth. Oh, of course. <laughs> There, you could, oh. you could hear it there, but it wasn't very clear. But you could hear her little voice saying, Football! That was you talking. Oh, it was? It sounded like her. <laughs> no, that was you oh. talking, idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. Football! Football! <laughs> yeah, you probably can't hear her because no. you didn't react. fucking cute dude she is cute um, all right yeah that, ends, so that should end our if that's, whatever if that's everything for for football we're gonna go on to hockey i think we really only want to talk about the three games that are on tonight though right ethan yeah what is on tonight Wait, I gotta say something. No, oh. Utah, baby, they won last they night. They did win. They, uh, their inaugural. They did. Yes, I saw it against the Chicago. Oh, what was you trying to say, Alex? I don't know what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Rangers versus the Pens, and then the Jets versus the Oilers was the only game tonight. Ethan sounds like he's like fifty feet away. <laughs> It's because my son turned the mic around. Oh! <laughs> well, you got the Maple Leafs uh, playing right now. Yeah, too, we have. Yeah, yeah I was, they're already they're already playing. I just don't have that one. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick the pens every time. Or, so. Well, yeah. So, uh, Spotify. These are the three the three games that are on tonight. Uh, first game is the Maple Leafs versus Montreal. Um, Ethan said he doesn't have it up. I can maybe take a peek here and see. Peeksy weeksy. A peeksy weeksy. Uh, well, yesterday was opening hockey night. So yeah, we can talk about. We can actually talk about this. Yes, yeah, so we should probably talk about this. There's a couple, couple key takeaways I have to say about those. Well, okay. So Montreal Canadiens. Right now, there is no score on the board. N- neither team has scored. It did just start though. So I think they just started too. So. They did. They're they have 12 minutes and 19 seconds left in the period. Okay, so. They started at like seven exactly. So, um, well, the first game that was on yesterday was the Blue Jackets versus the Kraken, which I actually got this one right. And I was getting kind of scared because I was like, I don't know who I even picked because I don't. I, this is the first year I'm actually gonna follow hockey. Just a heads up, everybody, even Spotify listeners. But uh, man, holy shit, the pen's almost scored. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. The, oh, um, okay, yeah. But yeah, like, right off the bat, Kraken was just killing it during that game. And then I don't know what the hell happened. Well, I Seven know Kraken... It's just what, downhill. 
Their third goal didn't count, and I don't know why I missed that part. I went outside for a second. I don't know what. Oh, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, it would have been 3-3 three, three, if anything, but fucking the Blues, man, they scored, like, within fucking a minute. They scored two goals within, like, a minute. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, let's say the second period, the Blues came out, and they were like, all right, let's make this our game, and they did. Evan, do not slam my phone. Oh my god, like... I'm, I'm losing my mind over here right now because I have a <laughs> crying in the background. This one's being a pain in the butt. Two under two, baby. <laughs> yep, two under two. And you got two boys. <laughs> yeah. Woo. <laughs> but then there was... The Panthers and the Bruins was a good one. Yes. I, I figured the Panthers were going to win. I got that prediction right, too. I figured the Panthers were going to win. And by golly, they did. I didn't expect that scoreline. I thought the Bruins were... I mean, that's kind of still cutting it close, I think, for the Panthers. Yeah. Or how, how they started out, anyway. Right, right, because they started out phenomenal, and then they also kind of lagged second, third period. Well, I mean, when you go up 4-1 to one in the first time, yeah. Like, yeah, you feel like you get slack, and that's, that's the problem. Yeah. It looks like... Uh... <clears throat> What the hell is that team? Somebody just scored. And then third period, they just... I could tell that the Bruins were kind of like, let's just get this over with. The Canadians scored. Did they? Oh, the Canadians scored. Yeah. Okay. And then... No, oh, that was... Well, here we go. Rangers just scored. Uh... Hockey Club won. I didn't yeah, get to watch Cox. any of it. I was out, dude. Blackhawks and Hockey Club. I watched a good bit of the game. I got this prediction wrong. I chose the Blackhawks. Listen, so this is for Spotify purposes as well. Uh, I only picked Utah Hockey Club as my team because this is the first year I'm actually going to follow hockey. So it's. Yeah, I think it's appropriate. That's why I picked Utah. I think it's appropriate that Chris's first year following hockey, he chooses the new hockey team. I think that's appropriate. I feel like yeah. for him, it'll be easier to follow if he follows that team. So, I've been. We'll we'll go with that, Alex. We'll I, go I, with I, it. Yeah. That makes sense to me. The only time I'm well, not they're gonna... in the central division, so that's what I was trying to figure out who I actually need to like root for because. I'm going to root for Utah unless they're playing the Pens. I need to look at, like, the standings and stuff is what I meant. Well, oh, okay. U here we go. Utah, Korea, uh, the whole entire time is 1-0. to zero. Well, I mean, so St. Louis Blues, so I needed them to lose yesterday. So, fuck you, Krakens. I knew I was rooting for you for some reason. <laughs> I kind of like their jerseys. Honestly, honestly, it's the only reason. I was like, I, I want to root for the Kraken, but I don't know if they're in the same division as <laughs> Utah. So I'm like, I'm not rooting for anybody until I figure out the, the the standings. And, well, it looks like I needed to root for the Krakens. That's fair. Okay. Any other, oh, any other you game? You can hit on another Dallas team. Fuck yeah. The Dallas Stars and then oh is in their God. division. So. <laughs> Dallas, baby. I'm going to make some freaking. Fuck them Cowboys. Some freaking. <laughs> fuck Dallas. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, logos for you. Just fuck all of oh, them. <laughs> that shit's funny, dude. That shit's funny. <laughs> oh, offside. Um, oh, the Kraken. The Kraken's in the Western Conference, too, but they're in a Pacific. Pacific. The specific, the specific division. It's so weird how they have these. So like, okay, I'm, I'm like learning. So we're all in this together. We're all in this on the ride. Spotify, you're gonna have to forgive my ignorance to hockey, but Eastern Conference, you got Atlantic and Metropolitan Division. That's weird. I know it's Metropolitan. Like what? You just can't. You can't just do like East, West, North, South. No. Like what? So, yeah, this is all new shit to me. 
Winnipeg Chris, Jets. Chris is basically having to learn a whole new sport here. Like pretty well, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sorry, there, I was just looking at this. Is there anything else the NHL we want to talk about? Well, tonight's games, I picked Toronto to win. Yeah, that's who I, I was going to pick. Obviously, the Pens, I picked them yep. to win. And then the Oilers. That's who I, I had, them. yep. But as of right now, I am 2-1. and one. Okay, well. I think I picked Toronto, too. I can't remember. Didn't we already do some of these picks? I can't remember. I don't know if we did these any of these. I I think we did. Well, I think I think Avalanche and the uh, Knights play tonight too, but they don't go until like ten thirty. So yeah, I saw that the uh, Oilers didn't come on until like ten. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not. A, I'm not saying I'm not a Pens fan. I don't have a problem with this Pittsburgh team for once. Uh, yeah, right. But I just feel like I just feel like the Rangers are winning it. That, uh, oh, well, Rangers were number one in Metropolitan last year. Oh, so. well, it just seems like every time I looked at the hockey scores last year, I always see New York Rangers winning. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess they're just really good. So they are. Hmm. All right, well, then we'll go ahead and, and fly through our uh, WWE oh, segment. Oh, but, then, but then one more thing. Oh, okay. I, think, I picked Avalanche to win tonight. Okay. Is that Colorado? Oh, or? Yes. Fight. Oh, yeah, I see that going on. They're kissing each other now. Chris was making fun of. Oh my God, he's taking his pants off. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Spotify can't see none of this, and neither can YouTube, so it's, it's, it's fine. You know, they're just taking their pants off and shit. Um. Someone on the phone with you. All right, well, then, if that's everything for NHL. Then we'll go ahead and go on to WWE, our Beyond the Bell segment. Someone ring the damn bell. Oh, I got you. It's not official till we ring the bell. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That's what she said. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I knew that was coming, dude. <laughs> uh, all right. So we'll start with SmackDown last week. The, uh, Pre bad blood SmackDown. Oh, AJ Styles oh. came back to face Carmelo Hayes, but Hayes won, so I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, fuck AJ. Um, Mishin versus Chelsea Green in that dumpster match, and oh, shocker, guess who won? Might as well just give Mishin the title at this right? point. Right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, Although, we, I wonder what was actually in that dumpster. Cause that shit I looked, know. It looked gross. Uh, oh, I don't like trash, dude. Hmm. Um, Naomi versus Stratton. Uh, Naomi won. Which, I don't know. I was kind of surprised by that a little bit. but I mean, I'm not. But, like, there were some really good shots of Tiffany in that. That, you know, the whole... <laughs> Alex... Thinks I'm starting to get into more blondes, and I told her I said I dye my hair black, and then all of a sudden he's into all these blondes. New customers turn five well, I I'm not into blondes. Just just look at them, look who they are, and then you'd be like, oh okay. You sound like there were some good it's shots funny. in there. It's funny because Tiffany Stratton's hair is actually brown. I know. Yeah. She, I think she looks. I think she looks good outside of WWE. Like I think she's really pretty outside of. WWE. But she, I mean, she's really pretty in WWE too, though. She is, but I think she looks better outside of it. Yeah, but you see her, you see her on SmackDown. She looks so much older than what she actually is because she's only my age. Like, yeah, I was gonna say like she does Bliss, look older. Bliss's natural hair is not. I, I it's know. Like a, darker, okay. darker blonde. Yeah, I would say it. it's not. I, I don't want to say dirty, but it's like. Speaking of oh. speaking of bliss, I saw where they put her blonde or her uh her pink highlights back in her hair. Oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I was <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, what does this mean? So where'd you see that? At? I gotta see it. It was it was her hairstylist that posted it. Oh, oh yeah. getting her hair ready? Oh yeah, she's coming back. Uh yeah, they were like he was like. Yeah, we're getting ready to put um 
Bliss's extensions in, and I was like, uh... Oh, I don't see no pictures. Um, the, yeah, the, the last match of the night for SmackDown was that tag, the tag title ladder match, which was, uh, DIY, uh, Street Profits and Bloodline, and guess who won that? Who would have thought? The Bloodline, yeah. Oh, kind oh. of a, kind of a mid, a mid SmackDown, I'd say. It wasn't great, wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but it really wasn't that great. Yeah, he would have thought the Bloodline won. Yeah, I know. So then we'll go on to Bad Blood, because Bad Blood looked like it was really damn good, so... Um, for the first match was our Hell in the Cell, CM Punk and Drew, with Punk securing the freaking win with blood all over the place. They were both- uh, did you guys see the pictures of Drew McIntyre's head? Yeah. He yeah, was busted open, I mean... So yeah, that was an insane match. Uh, the next one was the women's championship, Bailey versus Nia, with Jax retaining. Of course. Yeah, I was like, so someone brought a speaker. I of just wish they would have done Bailey, like I said, then they could have, dude. I want to see a woman with Fatal Four, dude. Like that would be cool. So, speaking of Nia Jax, before we go on, somebody in a comment section somewhere said that Nia Jax, they're trying to do Nia Jax the way they did Karma. Karma was a damn good female wrestler. And they, Karma who? Karma. Her name was Karma. She's a big black lady. Oh. But, uh, they're, they're like, Nia Jax, they're literally trying to make Nia Jax into Karma, and it's never gonna work. Because Karma was just, like, so far ahead of she entered the men's royal rumble and came out and wrestled the men like so i don't I know see it. yeah so i don't know um the next one was damian priest versus finn balor with priest winning which Again, who would have thought that one? Yeah. Yeah, so it, yeah it was. I, and someone made an argument that because Finn didn't win that, he's kind of losing credibility. Like, the, because they didn't let him win that, he's losing some credibility, which I, I don't know. I don't really know if I have an opinion on that. But I could see it. Yeah, I could too. Like, are they setting Finn, Finn Balor up? So Finn needs to be so dominant. He That's should. Why it's like he should. He's, he's losing credibility when he loses now. It's like, okay. They're just putting him on the back burner. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan. With Rhea winning via DQ, I didn't know that she won via disqualification. I thought Liv just won. But now it makes more sense. Yeah, Raquel, dude. Oh, okay. yeah, duh. I forgot about Raquel. Raquel slammed her ass. Yes, she did. And now is she part of the Judgment Day? Yeah, dun, I know. Dun, dun. Is she part of the Judgment Day? <laughs> Taco Bell. Oh. Taco Bell. <laughs> Liv Moss. <laughs> um, And then the last match, which was, like, it fucking insane was Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus Solo and Jacob. Uh, Reigns and Rhodes won because guess who came back? I told you. Jimmy. And then, right, and then, and then Jimmy and, and Cody, or Jimmy and Roman went back to help Cody. I know, I know. Up. I was like, wait a yeah, minute. I think that's why The Rock came out. I think he was doing, like, this is your third strike, Roman. That's why he did yeah, one, two, yeah. three. Which, I knew The Rock was coming back at some point. It's I think it's a little early for The Rock to be coming back, but I'm not surprised. It is coming up on The Rock season, so. Which is what the I Rock call season. That's what I call it. He always comes back kind of around Royal Rumble. So like I said, he's he's a little early this year, but Roman's beating his ass. I agree. That's what's happen. Um, then we had Raw, which Raw this week was really good. Uh Jay Uso versus Xavier Woods with Uso winning. Uso. Which isn't this the match that Xavier Woods? He yeah, didn't he? 
Xavier you know, Woods. Take his hand. Well, no, he like walked away, and then Kofi Kingston came out and helped. Was that this match? Am I thinking of the right yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, Xavier Woods just kind of was like. Why do you get so confused? Uh, you're like you're Cause like. Sometimes my weeks blur together, and I'm like. Was that this past week or was that the week before? So, I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So, let's talk about what happened before that match. So, CM Punk talks about his match, blah, blah, blah. But oh, then it gets yeah. cut off by Seth freaking Rollins. So, it's like, oh, is... yeah. They had a match on NXT, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I want to start watching NXT. Chris, Ethan, Chris actually made a, a good speculation when Seth Rollins came out. He said, hey, isn't that his outfit from when he was in the Shield? And I said, it kind of looks like his outfit from when he was in the Shield. I mean, not not exact, of course, but it had like the buckles and I was like, it kind of does remind me of the Shield a little bit. He said, what if the Shield's getting back together? And who did you say was going to be their third? I don't remember who the fuck. I was so tired. But I remember them going after Punk all the time. Punk was one of the... Was, isn't that what S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yes, S.H.I.E.L.D. came after Punk so bad. Like... Uh, I said, it's gonna, Roman's gonna come back. Uh, oh, Jimmy and Jay. <laughs> I said it was gonna be the S.H.I.E.L.D. That's right. <laughs> That's hey, I, right. I'm telling you, Jimmy and Jay's tag team, they're going to be coming back. They're going to fucking fly, dude. They're going to fucking fly. Yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with the Usos. They're taking the titles. Um, Usos losing his Intercontinental, and he's going to team up with Jimmy and take the fucking Bloodlines title. That's what's going to happen. Okay. I, I Or Roman and Cody take it. I'd be okay with that. Yo, could you fucking imagine? Um, next match was the good old-fashioned Brook match, Sheamus versus Pete Dunne, and can I just fucking say it's about fucking time. I told you he's winning that one. I was, I was getting so pissed off that my man wasn't winning, and they finally let him win, so thank Christ. Killed him. Killed him. It's a good match, too. It was a lot of fun. The next one was a really good match. Yeah, the next one was the 10-woman tag team match. <laughs> And it, oh, hell yeah. Natalia Carter, Chance, Vega, and Val Valkyra defeated Stark, uh, Baszler, DeVille, Dawn, and Fire. I wish I was that referee. Jesus Christ. Ten women in one ring, bro? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Think of think of that for just one second. What you about have, what about the Royal not Rumble? Carry it in it, Vega. Yeah, but that don't count. You know, it's just people coming in there getting thrown out, then they're gone. You <laughs> can't have thirty women in one ring. I don't even know how many's in the women's war. Is it thirty or is it's, it's it twenty? I think it's thirty. I didn't even know there was that many women in. I, the I know, room. right? <laughs> yeah, they bring some some girls from NXT and stuff over, so. That was a good fight, though. And then, last match, which, I don't know if anyone noticed, Raw was only two hours this week. Yeah. So, that rumor was true. Remember, I said, oh, I think it's just a rumor right now, because I haven't really seen any confirmation. It went off, and I said, well, that seemed really quick. And I'm like, it's not 11 o'clock. And sure enough, it wasn't 11 o'clock, so... It's not 11 on But clock. last match was Sami Zayn versus Gunther for the championship, and who would have thought? You mean, you mean Sami won it? Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> You're hilarious. You're funny. I am. I am deathly hilarious. So, usually I have somewhat of a preview for these the upcoming shows. The only thing they had for SmackDown that was confirmed was that Roman Reigns was going to come do a segment. That was it. Which means The Rock's yeah, going to come yeah. out, I'm sure, but... Yeah, his stupid new and theme song. I found out something about Raw this, this coming week that I didn't know. They already filmed it. Why? I don't know, but when I went to when I typed in the date, the upcoming date, and put raw preview, it's all spoilers. And I said, "Oh, I'm not reading any of these." So That's they fil they filmed it previously. I thought that was weird too. 
I, Maybe I, they just need a break. I don't know when they filmed it. I don't know. I don't know if anyone saw that they're talking about splitting up the Terror Twins. Well, I did hear that, that I guess Rhea Ripley or someone said something about that they were splitting up, and I was like, damn it. I actually did like the Terror Twins, but... Uh, I wonder what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm wondering, too, is, like, I don't know. Maybe Rhea's new husband's getting upset because Damien Priest is packing. Well, you can't tell me you can't see that fucking, his pants fucking sticking out there five feet. I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've ever noticed. <laughs> It was kind of hard not to notice. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm not looking at other men's pants. Not like that. I do all the time. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Jesus Christ. Hey, you gotta know what you're up against. The world's a dangerous place. You know, you gotta know what's in someone's pants. I cannot. No, oh, Jesus. I cannot. All right, that's all I had for Beyond the Bell, so. Yeah, anything you want to add, Ethan? Uh, <laughs> why, why did my ring doorbell just go that off? That was mine telling me. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's telling me. No, I don't think I have anything to add. Because hey, how much I want to jump off a bridge right now. Uh, oh, Jesus. A wireless bungee cord? A wireless bungee cord. Wait, how much did you guys want to... Hold on, hold on. Before we end this nice little podcast. Listen, this, this is a podcast. We're allowed to have fun. It's only an hour and 20 that I've been live. How much did you guys win on that Willy Wonker's Pure Imagination? You uh, won... I won... 49 cents or 39 cents, something, 29 cents. I won 89 cents. Yeah, well... Fuck every single one of you. <laughs> All right, hey, I know how mad I get. I got 57 cents. Ow. That's all I got out of that shit. Motherfuckers. Shit happens. Also, I'd like to shout out uh, Mobile Deposit for letting me de mobile deposit all my checks today. <laughs> um, actually, since this is a sports podcast, I have one thing to say. ESPN bet. I love your layout. I just got ESPN bet. However, what I don't like is that if I have to refer a friend, that they have to spend twenty five dollars. Jesus, fifty dollars. Like what, dude? Come on, we don't want to do that. Nobody wants to spend twenty five dollars on one bet. Lord, but they got a lot of profit boosts. I mean, I will say, I mean, let me see here. Let me just double check. It says here, use your friends, use your, your friends' joints. This is a referral. They place any bet over $25. That's you right. each get $50 in rewards. Which is okay, though, because, I mean, you still get $50, but Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, Dude, that's I that. 25 I one time. I was going to say, I remember FanDuel uh, is like $5. We got 200 bucks. I know. Yeah. Now it's $5. So you get 300 bucks. I'm like, of course. I like, I like DraftKings. I mean, I, I just, I'm a fucking DraftKings fanatic now. But that's just because I can see my buddy's bets and shit. Like, that's actually kind of nice. I'm not lying. Yeah, that's what I like about, at least about DraftKings. Because then when Chris's lucky uncle posts his bets, I just bet off what he's betting. <laughs> yeah, he's won quite a bit. Now, not... He's he's won more, obviously, in FanDuel, though. So he's going to have to step his game up on... Yeah. Although, although he did just win $400 on some of these on DraftKings. So... Fucking guy. But all right, that is it for Spotify, it for Twitch, YouTube. Stay tuned. At the end of the video here, I will post my my bets. So.
with that being said, everybody, peace out. Love you guys. Spotify, remember the socials are Murdoch Gaming at YouTube. Uh, and Twitch is Murdoch Gamer. Um, again, not wearing my logo for Twitch to see, but I'm wearing my breast cancer awareness stuff. So, but yeah, with that being said, love you guys. Peace out, and we will see you next week. All right, YouTube, what is up? Again, we're only betting the money line. So let's hopefully we get this shit this time. All right, let's get this old. Didn't mean to hit that button. So we're not betting on the AM game. Okay, we're only betting on the evening games here. So we got Eagles. I did pick. You did pick the Baltimore. Ravens, yep. Sorry, someone's knocking shit over. Uh, I picked Houston. Oh, my. I picked Green Bay. Did I pick all the overdogs? This is not good. I picked Bucks. Oh, this is not good. Did I pick the Colts, though, didn't I? Uh, you did. Yes, you did pick the Colts. Oh, thank God we do got the fucking plus there. Oh, that could have been bad, you know? And then I picked the Steelers. I picked the Chargers. <laughs> I picked the we Falcons. We picked the good this teams, apparently. Good. This is not And you picked good. the Bengals. Uh, yeah, but I didn't. That's a eight. That's an eight o'clock game. Oh, that's right. You only do. So what was that game that was really close? That I was all oh, the fucking Washington game. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Real quick, our money line goes: Eagles beating Browns, Ravens beating Commanders, Texans beating the Patriots, Packers beating Cardinals, Bucks beating the Saints, Colts beating Titans, Steelers beating the Raiders, Chargers beating Broncos, Falcons beating Panthers, Detroit beating Dallas. Five bucks gives us nothing. Nothing. I mean, that's not a bad little... Probably a $324. Making a $320 profit off of it. I mean, I guess. That's how Jeez. I look at it. All right, peanuts. <laughs> Let's see if we can get. Can we get any boosters on this motherfucker? No, bro. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like none of them, huh? We don't What's that? What was that one I picked? Damn. All right. Well, I guess if we get. If we win, ah. Uh, if we win, we get $320, I guess. Fuck. That's all we're going to get, though? Damn. That's a big risk for fucking... <laughs> hey, whatever, I guess. <laughs> I hope we get that fucking money, baby. Oh, no way, dude. All right, you two. Peace out, guys. I love you. Let's get this $324, huh?